So let's now set up our computer so we can write our C programs. So what you're going to need to do is go onto the guide for this video, and I have some links to where that you can get this software. First of all, we'll need to get Atom, which is going to be our text editor. All you need to do is click download. It automatically detects that you need for Windows. Wait for it to download, and then you can run it. And that's it, it installs by itself. So once it's installed, Atom will open up by itself, and all you need to do for the moment is just minimize it, and we'll come back to it later. The next thing you'll need is MinGW, which is gonna be our compiler. So open up that link. On the right-hand side, there is a download installer button. Click that, wait for the download to finish, and then we can run that too. So first you'll see the license agreement, just click install. Now you can change where you want to install it to, but I'm gonna leave it as the default. Click continue and wait for it to download. So now that it's downloaded, just click continue and it will open up the installer for you. Now, all you need to do is select the check mark next to mingw32-base, left click that and click mark for installation. Then go to the installation menu at the top and click apply changes. It will tell you which packages need to be installed, just click apply. And now we just need to wait while the packages are installing. If all goes well, you will see that all changes were applied successfully. We can just click close. And then we can close the installer. What you need to do now is open up Atom. And we'll go to File, Settings. We will go down to Install. And we will search for GPP-Compiler. Press Enter to search. And what we need to do is click the install button next to the GPP compiler. Just wait for that to install and we should be good. Great, so now that's installed, when we go to write our C programs, all we have to do is hit the run button and it will work. If you want to use a Raspberry Pi, things are much simpler as all the tools are already installed for you. All you need to do is go up to the menu, go to programming and go to Genie. And now when you want to run your C programs, all you need to do is click the run button at the top and it will run exactly the same way that Atom will. So let's get on to making our first program. So the last step with MinGW is we need to change a setting in Windows. Go to the Start menu, and what you need to look for is Edit Environment Variables for your account. Press Enter. Go to the Path variable in the top box. Click Edit. Go up to New, click that, and then click Browse. What we're gonna look for is the installed location for our MinGW, and inside that will be a bin folder. Click the bin folder, click OK, click OK two more times, and that's all.